नमस्कार मित्रांनो एकलव्य द मॅथ स्कूल या युट्यूब चॅनलमध्ये आपलं सर्वांचं स्वागत या चॅनलला लाईक शेअर आणि सबस्क्राईब करायला विसरू नका हॅलो फ्रेंड्स अँड वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू इन आवर युट्यूब चॅनल एकलव्य द मॅथ स्कूल स्टुडंट्स टुडे वी आर गोईंग टू लर्न द कन्सेप्ट सिमिलॅरिटी फ्रॉम द चॅप्टर सिमिलॅरिटी ऑफ मॅथ्स पार्ट टू फ्रॉम स्टँडर्ड टेन्थ सो लेट अस सी द कन्सेप्ट सिमिलॅरिटी स्टुडंट्स बिफोर वी आर गोईंग टू लर्न द सिमिलॅरिटी लेट अस रिवाइज द कन्सेप्ट कॉन्ग्रुएन्सी विच वी हॅव ऑलरेडी लर्न सो लुक ॲट द सेट ऑफ फिगर्स ओवर द स्क्रीन देर आर टू सेट्स इन ईच सेट देर आर टू फिगर्स सो लेट अस मूव द फर्स्ट फिगर्स ऑफ ईच सेट ओवर द सेकंड फिगर ऑब्झर्व इट केअरफुली वॉट हॅपन्स हिअर वी आर गोईंग टू मूव द फर्स्ट फिगर ओवर द सेकंड वन ऑब्झर्व इट केअरफुली बोथ द फिगर्स आर कोइनसाइड्स ईच अदर एक्झॅक्टली लुक ॲट द फिगर्स वी कॅन से हिअर द फर्स्ट फिगर ऑफ ईच सेट इज कोइनसाइड एक्झॅक्टली टू द सेकंड वन इट मीन्स दॅट दीज टू फिगर्स आर सेट टू बी द कॉन्ग्रुएंट फिगर्स विच आर इंडिकेटेड बाय दिस साईन ओवर द स्क्रीन सो वॉट इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ कॉन्ग्रुएंट फिगर्स इफ एनी टू फिगर्स और जॉमेट्रिकल फिगर्स कोइनसाइड्स इच अदर एक्झॅक्टली सच टू फिगर्स आर सेट टू बी द कॉन्ग्रुएंट फिगर्स सो लेट अस कन्सिडर द फर्स्ट सेट देर आर टू ट्रायंगल्स can we say that each and every part of the first triangle is congruent to the each and every part of the second triangle it means each angle of the first triangle can we say that congruent to the each angle of the second triangle and by the same way for the sides so let us consider one angle here of the first triangle if we move this angle to the corresponding angle of the second triangle is it coincides yes here we can observe that the first angle of the first triangle is exactly coincides with the first angle of the second triangle but can we say that same angle is coincide with the second angle of the second figure let us see here here we can say that the first angle of the first angle is not coincide with the second angle of the second triangle it means the congruency is for the particular points and that is said to be the one to one correspondence between the points it means we can say that whenever two triangles are congruent it means that their corresponding angles and corresponding sides are only congruent to each other so this is the congruency let us now see what is similarity so here is a one triangle and we are going to create a new triangle from this one look at the picture here carefully how we can create the second triangle from the first one look at again here what we have done here we increase all the three sides of the first triangle in specific proportion or in specific multiple that's why we get the same type of triangle here but which is larger than the first one so let us again move the first triangle over the second one here both the triangles are not going to coincide each other but they are looks alike it means these two triangles are looks alike but they are not coincides each other so let us consider about the angles here the angle of the first triangle let us see is it coincide with the corresponding angle of the second triangle so here we can observe that both the angles are congruent it means in these two triangles the angles are congruent but about sides we have already say that the sides are in a specific proportion such two figures are said to be the similar figures so what we can say about the similar figures similar figures when two geometrical figures are looks alike but they doesn't coincides each other exactly 
such two figures are said to be the similar figures. And what is the property about the sides and angles of similar figures? Here we can observe the angles. Of course, the corresponding angles are congruent of both the figures, but sides are in specific proportion. So, let us see some pictures which are the examples of similar figures. So, there are three figures. In each figure, in each picture, you can see here, there are two figures which are looks alike, but they does not coincide each, each other. So, these are the some examples of similar figures. So, how can we indicate the similarity between two triangles? So, in this way, if these two triangles are similar, we can say that the first angle is similar to the second one by this sign over the screen you can see in the red color. So, what is the property of similarity we have learned here or what is the definition? When two figures looks alike, but does not coincide each other exactly, then such figures are said to be the similar figures. And of course, we have already learned the property about the angles and sides. The angles are congruent, but the sides are in proportion. And what we have learned in the congruency? In congruency, we have learned if two triangles are congruent, the angles and sides are congruent to corresponding angles and sides of the second triangle. But in similarity, only angles are congruent and sides are in proportion. So, students, let us see some test of similarity. The first test, for the first test, let us consider two figures here. Again, the, we are going to consider the two triangles. And if the three angles of the first triangle are congruent to the corresponding three angles of the second triangle, then we can say that these two triangles are similar to each other by a a a test of similarity. So, here we can say that if three angles of the first triangle are congruent to the corresponding three angles of the second triangle, then those two triangles will be similar to each other by a a a test. Let us now consider the next one. Here again there are two triangles, but now we can say that here two sides are in proportion and the angles between them is congruent to the corresponding angle. So, in this case, we can say that these two triangles are similar to each other by S A S test. So, what is the S A S test? For a given correspondence of vertices of two triangles, if two pairs of corresponding sides are in the same proportion and the angles between them are congruent, then those two triangles will be similar to each other as per the S A S test. Now, the last test we are going to see here. Again, now we are going to consider all three sides. The all three sides of the first triangle are in proportion with the corresponding three sides of the second triangle. Then we can say that those two triangles will be similar to each other as per the S S S test. So, here three sides are in proportion with the corresponding three sides of the second triangle. So, here we have learned the three tests of similarity. I hope you understood the concept similarity and the test of similarity. If you like this video, please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you.